Clara, attenzione! Solo Calazze! Tiro! Welcome to a journey that transcends the boundaries of the football pitch, intertwines triumphs, heartaches, and reinvention. Politics and sport in general have a lot in common. Today, we will unravel the captivating saga of Kaka Kaladze, a name synonymous with European football glory and Georgian political leadership. Kakaba or Kaka Kaladze was born on February the 27th, 1978, in the Soviet train town of Samtredia in USSR occupied Georgia. Kaka Kaladze's family had an affinity for football already, with his dad playing for the local team Lokomotiv Samtredia, who was also president of the team for some time. During Kaladze's formative years at Dinamo Tbilisi, he made over 50 appearances, and this foreshadowed the rise of a talent destined for greatness. He staked a claim to be one of the most talented and versatile centre-backs in Europe, being able to play at full-back and as a wide midfielder too. It was only a matter of time before a Champions League contender came knocking at his door. Yet it was his move to Ukrainian club Dinamo Kyiv in 1998 that propelled him onto the European scene. This was the only other former Soviet Union club other than Dinamo Tbilisi to win any UEFA Cup competitions and still often compete in the UEFA competitions. There, it was a great place for Kaladze to express his qualities on the pitch. With 86 appearances and 11 goals, Kaladze showcased not only his defensive prowess and knack for finding the net, and ability to win league and cup competitions. Yet behind the scenes, a personal oddity unfolded. The tragic kidnapping of Kaka Kaladze's brother, Levan Kaladze, in 2001 cast a long, dark shadow over the family, with his brother eventually being declared deceased in 2006. Two men were incarcerated for 30 years. In the face of adversity, Kaka found solace in the unwavering support of his wife, a fashion designer, Anuki Arashidze, and their three children. Following the kidnapping, Kaladze threatened to take up Ukrainian citizenship, but reverted his decision, stating, There was a time when I thought about quitting the national side completely, but I couldn't do it out of respect for the Georgian people and the fans who come and give such support. He later named his second son Levan after his deceased brother. AC Milan beckoned in 2001, becoming the canvas for Kaladze's footballing masterpiece. With his impressive passion and work effort on the pitch, he became a stalwart and a fan favourite, collecting over 300 appearances, 19 goals, and a glittering collective of silverware, including a Serie A title, two Champions League triumphs in 2003 and 2007, two FIFA Super Cups, and entered AC Milan's Hall of Fame alongside legends such as Rude Gillett, Andrei Shevchenko, Kaka, Van Basten, and Maldini. Carlo Ancelotti gives Kaladze a humorous side to him. Rino Gattuso was losing his mind and it was all Kaka Kaladze's fault. His birthday was on January the 9th, and a few days before his birthday, at the beginning of a training session, Kaka stopped the group to make an announcement. He said, Coach, sorry I have something very important to tell you. In three days, it's Gattuso's birthday. Gattuso, being the usual grumpy man that he is, decided that he didn't like to see all this fuss made of him, but carried on anyway. The next day, he said, excuse me, guys, I have something to tell you all. Dinner stopped. It's two days and 14 hours till Gattuso's birthday. People, team doctors, started to give him a worried look and wanted to intervene. Gattuso was going crazy. The following morning, the next thing happened. It's one day until Gattuso's birthday. Poor Kaladze was getting scowls of Gattuso. He wanted to strangle him. The next day in training session... During the next training session, Kaladze stops the group one more time to announce that it's just four hours until Gattuso's birthday. Gattuso ran across the pitch and tackled him to the floor. It was around about this time that Kaladze started to develop knee issues, Ancelotti says. But it didn't stop there. The next day, a battered Kaladze came into training with a sad look on his face. 
When asked what was the matter by Carlo Ancelotti, he replied, I am very sad, coach. You see, Gattuso's birthday is 365 days away now. After a brief spell at Genoa Football Club, Calazza drew the curtains on his sporting career and turned his attention elsewhere. Retirement would mark a profound shift in his life. Showing leadership on the football field, Kaka Kaladze embraced politics and joined founding party members of Georgian Dream in 2016. This transition from football icon to political force showcased a man with multifaceted commitments to his homeland. Kaladze also owned a company called Capital Kala, which primarily invests in the energy sector and a charitable organization called Kala Foundation as well as being an ambassador for FIFA for SOS Children Villages. In 2008, Kaladze raised 50,000 euros to benefit South Ossetian refugees during Russia's invasion of Georgia. He owns bars and restaurants across Europe, with one restaurant in Milan even receiving a Michelin star. A defining moment arrived in 2012 when Kaladze became Deputy Prime Minister of Georgia before he assumed the role of Tbilisi's mayor in 2017. Politics and sport in general have a lot in common. First of all, it's a need to work in a team. Every time when I talk about success in politics or in sport, I stress how important it is to have a team of professionals. His vision for the city encompassed urban development, infrastructure enhancements, and a holistic approach to elevate the city's quality of life. He has prided himself on modernizing the dated Soviet public facilities within the city and reforming the transit system. Yet, as in any political arena, controversies emerge. Critics scrutinize potential conflicts of interest in the energy sector, question decisions on policies like creating a European-style smart city for public transport that is dated, causing large traffic jams and congestions across the city as well as the death of a child after a poorly engineered park renovation which happened on Kaladze's watch. Kaladze, however, stood firm, championed transparency and anti-corruption measures. He has been elected for mayor twice as of 2024. In conclusion, Kaka Kaladze's life story unfolds as an epic narrative of resilience and passion. From the Georgian football pitches to the corridors of political power and influence, his legacy resonates not just in goals and victories, but in an enduring spirit of a man who embraces challenges, transforming them into opportunities. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and leave a comment underneath telling me what other videos you'd like to see from this channel.